In this video, I'm going to show you how to create reflections from scratch in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial you are going to learn how to create a realistic water reflection by leveraging the power of blend if and displacement maps inside of Photoshop. We will start by showing you how to work the reflection to match it exactly with your subject then we will create the ripple effect using the distort filter and I'll show you how to create a displacement map to achieve the ripple effect. And lastly we will blend the reflection using blend if and blending modes. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see here, I already masked the subject and added a layer mask. And I chose an image with a similar lighting conditions so I can focus on creating the reflection. Okay, so for this image, we need to match the perspective first. So start by flipping the image by clicking on Ctrl or Command T and then choose Flip Horizontal. Now if you hold shift and click on the layer mask to disable it, you can see that the horizon line of the subject image is higher than the background. So you need to drag the image to the bottom to match the horizon lines so you get the right perspective when you scale the image down. When you do that, click on Ctrl or Command T to get to the free transform and then you need to drag the anchor point and align it with the horizon line of the background. And now when you hold ALT or OPTION and scale the image down, it will scale based on that anchor point. Ok, let's create the reflection now. And what you need to do is make a copy of the subject layer by dragging the layer while holding ALT or OPTION. Then click on CTRL or COMMAND T again and move the anchor point down and then right click and choose flip vertical. Then align the reflection with the subject and you can see that the legs are not matching in this case. So to fix this, we need to warp the image and align the legs. Now before we do that, we need to apply the layer mask first because we are going to apply a distort filter later which is not gonna work with the layer mask active. So right click on the layer and choose rasterize layer. Then right click on the mask and choose apply layer mask. And then convert the layer to smart object again. Now go to edit, puppet warp. So what we need to do first is add a new point on the left leg so it becomes locked and it will not move when we warp the image. Then add another point to the other leg and you will see that when you move this point the other leg will stay locked in place. You can also rotate the point by holding ALT or OPTION. Now align the right leg to the subject and add other points if you feel the need to. And now add one last point at the bottom to realign the whole shadow. Then hit the check mark to accept the changes and use the arrow keys to align the reflection further. Ok, now that the reflection is in place, we need to create the ripple effect. And if you take a look at some reference images, you will see that water reflections will always have some distorted edges and we need to recreate that inside of Photoshop. So to create the ripple effect, we need to first create something called a displacement map. And to do that, right click on the background image layer and choose duplicate layer. And in the destination, choose new from the document drop down. Now you need to desaturate the layer, so click on Ctrl Shift U, then you can increase the contrast with levels to get a better distortion. Then save the file as a PSD and call it displacement. You can now close the file, select the reflection layer and then go to filter, distort, displace. And in the horizontal and vertical scale, change the value to 30, then check stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels and click OK. Now Photoshop is going to ask you which displacement to use, choose the displacement PSD file you just created and click on open. As you can see, the ripple distortion is applied based on the displacement map file. So if you want a different ripple texture, you can use the displacement map from another image as well. In this case, the ripple effect is very strong, especially in the legs because of the texture of the background. And we can fix that by redoing the filter and reducing the scaling. So what you need to do first is create a copy of the reflection layer Add a layer mask and hide the area where the fit is with the brush tool. 
Now in the subject layer copy, double click on the displace filter and this time reduce the scale to 10 and choose the displacement map again. In this layer, you are going to add an inverted layer mask using Alt or Option and then reveal only the feet using the brush tool with the foreground color set to white. Ok, now we need to blend this reflection with the water in the background because it should be visible only on the water and not in the sand. And to do that, double click on the layer to bring the layer style dialog box and in the blend if options in the underlying layer slider, you are going to drag the right slider to the left to make it not visible in the highlights. And to make the transition smoother and blend it better with the background, hold alt or option to split the slider. So that's before and after blend if. And as you can see, this step will make the reflection a lot more realistic. You can now add the levels adjustment layer to make the shadow darker or you can change the blending mode to multiply. What's left to do now is to match the color of the subject to the background by adding a color balance adjustment layer and then clip it to the subject using alt or option and then add some red and yellow. Then add the levels adjustment layer and darken it a little bit. Next add the hue saturation adjustment layer to the reflection layer check colorize and then change the hue to red to match the color of the subject. And lastly add some blur by going to filter blur Gaussian blur and add a small amount of one pixel or less to reduce the sharpness and help the reflection blend better with the background. So that's how to create realistic reflections in Photoshop using the displace filter and blend if. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. This will help the YouTube algorithm discover the channel and surface it to more people. So that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.